بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله these gatherings are meant to be gatherings of remembrance gatherings to stir up within our hearts meanings that we already know are true but we need to bring them to the surface and to recall them and remember them but just like a person who uh, has the normal poor American diet in their weekly and their day in the day-to-day -day life and then on Friday they have a nice kale salad with arugula and other things that we can't pronounce right that's not what's meant by a healthy diet by changing one's life so similarly we shouldn't have just one week one day a week where we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where we remember the Prophet we should make intention from right now that every day of the week that we have a portion of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have a portion of remembering the Prophet and showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that blessing and one of the beautiful ways to become a person of dhikr a person of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to adopt the specific du'as and invocations that the Prophet ﷺ would do in specific time periods, in specific circumstances. Like for instance, entering the house and leaving the house, entering the restroom or leaving the restroom, when he would wake up, when he would sleep ﷺ. And by this, that even throughout our day-to-day -day mundane acts, that we are able to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But more importantly than just having that on our tongue, which is itself a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remember Allah with one of the limbs that he created us with, that is meant for that purpose, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, more importantly is to reflect on the words that the Prophet would, ch would choose to say in those situations. Why would he choose that dua? Why would he use those words? That's the most important part of it, is to reflect on those meanings. And one of the blessings of the du'as of the Prophet ﷺ, if we really reflect on him, is that he showed us a way to live in the world, but to always raise the bar and appreciate the greater of the blessings. The blessings that are within the, the inward states of our hearts and the blessings that relate to the hereafter. Just when the Prophet ﷺ would eat food, he would say, Alhamdulillahi ladhi ata'amana wa saqana. He would say, oh Allah, uh, all praise is due to Allah who has fed us and gave us drink. So he's showing appreciation for these worldly blessings of food and drink. And he's ascribing them to their correct source, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he adds, وَجَعَلَنَا مِنِ muslimin," And he made us amongst those who are Muslims. Right? So he added the greater blessing. And he acknowledged that as well. When he would look into the mirror, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would say, Allahumma kama hassanta khalqi fa hassan khuluqi. Oh Allah, just as you have made my outward appearance beautiful, then make my inward reality beautiful as well, right? So just out of gratitude to Allah for the outward blessing of beauty, he also in included and taught his ummah to recognize the more important of the in uh, blessings, which is the inward beauty, the beauty of the heart. And you can do this with every one of the du'as of the Prophet ﷺ. He's always raising that bar trying to catch our attention to something much deeper, much more important than just worldly blessings, while not forgetting those worldly blessings at the same time. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just by the virtue of these blessed gatherings that, uh, that du'as are accepted in, another thing that is accepted in these gatherings are intentions. That if you make an intention in this gathering, a resolve, that I'm going to, from today on and from this day on, I'm going to have a portion of dhikr of Allah in every single one of my days, not just once a week like that kale salad, even though uh, we all need to eat some kale salads once in a while. I, that we make intention from right now that I'm going to have a daily portion of remembering Allah. And I'm going to try to learn those du'as of the Prophet Sallallahu and everyone should have the copy of Imam an The Book of Remembrances where they can find those theirs and reflect on those du'as. And inshallah, Allah will make us of those who remember him often, those whose tongues are always moist in his remembrance, and those who have the heaviest deeds on the scale, which is the remembrance of Allah.